Hello, welcome back to Business Consulting. Today we have brought you another financial model. This one is Laundromat Excel Financial Model. It is based on forecasted, forecasted up to 60 months uh, monthly basis on monthly basis as well as yearly basis. As you can see over here, this uh, Excel file includes these uh, sheets. Uh, if we come to how to use, as you can see over here, the beat cells indicates the input cells, whereas the gray cells in, uh, indicates the formula results, and the light gray fonts uh, are the helping uh, cells. Coming towards the assumption or input sheet, uh, as you can see, it includes all the relevant assumptions such as funding assumptions, revenue and cost assumptions, capex, and optics. It also includes the working capital assumptions. Then comes the revenue analysis. The revenue analysis, as you can see over here, includes uh, the revenue generated from each of the service provided. Then comes the startup summary. The startup summary, as you can see, gives you a brief summary about the company's first year. And it tells you about its uh, total uh, startup expenses and startup assets. It also identifies the total assets, total liabilities, and total capital for the first year and gives the additional funding that would be required in the first year then comes the financial statements as you can see over here the financial statements uh, includes the income statement which gives you the net income of the business on monthly and yearly basis going up to five months then comes the cash flow statements the cash flow statements uh, statement includes it gives you the inflow and outflow of the business through its operations its investments and its financings then comes the balance sheet the balance sheet in, uh, tells you about the total assets of the business and compares them with the total liabilities and equities which are used to identify the uh, business overall functioning um, if it's profitable or not this over here and gives you the balance check if the total assets and liabilities or the balance sheet is uh, balanced or not then comes the revenue analysis uh, financial analysis which uh, includes the break-even analysis which gives you the break-even sales then comes the company valuation which gives you the back of the business as well as the expected equity percentage that can be offered to the investors then comes sensitivity analysis. The sensitivity analysis over here, as you can see, uh, gives you um, a brief scenario on three uh, different uh, scenarios pessimistic, optimistic, and actual, which gives you the functioning of the business in three different scenarios. Uh, then comes the KPIs and ratios. The KPIs and ratios include the profitability ratio, liquidity ratio, solvency ratio, and efficiency ratios. Coming towards the working sheet, the working sheet tells you about the uh, calculations that are being used in the financial statements. It tells you about the employee payroll, operating expenses, the prison schedule, loan schedule, and working capital. As you can see over here, it includes everything that has been developed above over here. Then comes the dashboard. The dashboard uh, gives you the graphical context of all the information that we have previously seen and identifies the kpis of the business uh, as per required this helps in making financial decisions more accurately and easily and as fast swiftly as possible that's it this is the end of the video thank you for watching do like and subscribe